This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. My name remains Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Olu Oshoke and Ife Omai. Yes, that's me. No, I the first one. My... <laughs> the former, not the latter, sorry. Don't know your name again. She said it together this time, so. Fellow or she care and if fell my usually she says the fellow or she care allows my yes that's me to land <laughs> and they fell my it's not every time that you accommodate children like that. <laughs> <laughs> thank <Bye>. you <laughs> this child needs to grow thank you very much you're gonna yes. get bored of it though you're no. gonna get bored of it no why would i said no mm -hmm. why would i it's a brand ah, ah. That's Before you know, you guys will start buying my merchandise t shirt. That's, yes, that's me, me. The, that's Good me. Day. Guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> when is the merchandise coming? Very soon, when it becomes a household name. Mm. Okay, cool. Mm. We'll be rooting for you. Yeah, so keep keep saying this, keep introducing me, and let it stick. Okay, cool. Uh, moving on, um, Williams Uchemba adopts a 30 year old boy, grants him university scholarship. According to him, he. Went to the where did he go? Is it the mechanic or the furniture Car stuff? Furniture, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and he found the young boy. He was pretty smart, according to him, and he felt the need to ask him to come to his house. And mm. he decided that oh, he he asked him why he's not doing his education, and he said he doesn't have the funds. So he decided to adopt him mm. to see him through his university education. I think this is commendable. Why are you smiling <laughs> mischievously? No, I, I, I agree. I agree. I just like the way you're telling the story. I like storytelling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're really excited about you. Friday because that's the only thing that <laughs> that's that's the only thing. Obviously. I think she's just busy counting down. Like, mm -hmm. I'm almost done. Yeah. I'm almost yeah, done. Keep going. <laughs> Someone I asked her where she was going to be staying over the weekend. She was like, oh, yeah. Like, the joy. <laughs> Ah, oh, guys, it's a long week. Um, I'm happy that this is happening. Mm. I remember we talked about, I don't know what, what conversation I was, okay, I think I brought it up that you know, a lady was, yes, a lady was asking uh, for her son and nobody, the men did not come up to say anything. I think this is one of those things that I have to commend men on. This is what we are looking for, for older people to mentor the younger ones. Um, and a lot of people are not fortunate enough to have healthy environments to grow up in and, you know, help be better people. So I think that this is a huge opportunity. And mm. I like that he went the, 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 uh, a step forward by not only just putting finances on the ground, but also his time. And I think that's where it really warmed my heart. And I, even, even I've made a comment on that his section to say that I just hope that he... he not audio. Hmm? No, not even audio. That he remembers to be intentional about it, help the boy to heal from whatever else he has seen and learned. It lets him help him unlearn all those things, help him to be a better person, help him to inspire, help him to treat women better, help him to be a respectful, respectable person, someone that yearns for ambition and everything. And then I also noticed, oh, I also, well, for me, I know that we have a tribalism problem in Nigeria, and I think this was an, another um, indirect way of mm -hmm. like tackling and breaking down that nonsense mentality because you could see that even the barriers of language was broken the barriers of tribe was broken and love existed and i i am rooting for both of them in as much as i'm excited about this um i just want him to remember that this kid is human he's still a teenager he's going to make mistakes he's going to probably mm. do some mm. terrible things that would piss you off are mm. you ready for all of that we don't mm. want to hear stories Two years later, oh, he drove my car, so I kicked him out. He mm. failed in school. So I, so if you're ready, welcome my new son. You've taken this person to be your child. So regardless of all the mistakes, regardless of everything he may do wrong, you're ready to accept all of that because that's the only way you would prove to us that you're willing mm -hmm. to do these things because mm. if you, it wouldn't make any sense if... Two years later, you say, oh, mm. you drove my car, you bashed it, so I can't do this anymore. Mm. He has to Why leave. is this car example? Something happened. <laughs> 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 but I have to say, you two are spot on on this one. And I want to say, what did you have a lunch? I mean, yeah, like the angles. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. I, I think with you, you two have said it all. Like, it's, it's, this is parenting now. It's not until you give birth to mm. the child biologically mm. that um, you have to bear the mistakes and the good parts. So... You ad ad f going by his own words. You have adopted him. He's now your son, mm. and you're going to send him through school. So also be there to mentor him, like you have said, and um, take the good and the bad. Yeah, he's human, basically. Yeah. 
Okay, shout out to William Suchimba. He's doing a lot, actually. Yeah, shout out to him. Then moving on, fans hail Bonaboy after featuring on Master KG's um, Jew Salema remix. So this song is a song I usually call Body Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in case you don't what, know. What's the word? <laughs> you don't know. I'm I surprised. Know. I know. And that mm. one, I don't know. But Bonaboy killed it, though. Yeah, he did. He did. I went back it. to listen to the song, actually. Mm. And I think what made it clearer was when I noticed that the voice at the beginning is actually him. Him. Mm -hmm. I, I never knew it was him. Everyone I only thought it was him that. where he was doing Colombo, Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> he sang in Zulu, he sang in English. But the first bit, you don't, you, you don't think English. it's him. It's him until Why? that's. Um, I knew it was born until boy that's, from the start. Um, should I use the word um, meaningless um, lyrics comes in? It's not so, meaningless, he was speaking Zulu. There was a point where he was just in Kulungu Kulungu, that was not Zulu. That oh. was just a vibe. Are you sure? I think yeah. it's Zulu. Yeah. Where? From mm. where? That was a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yes, he owned that song, and it is amazing. Of course, Bonner Boy is talented. He's yeah. <laughs> we can't take that away from Bonner. <laughs> that's the vibe of, uh, that's happening on Twitter. Everyone is like, guys, I like that song. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> Somebody posted a meme of um, a small girl sitting on the floor, like, I forgive you, Bonner Boy, <laughs> of everything he has done. <laughs> Um, but that I, song is a jam. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I like. I really liked it. A lot of people are actually saying the same that they didn't know that it was I Burner Boy at the until at the I first Google bit. the lyrics. But yeah, I mean, when when you hear it the second time, because I think there were two times you repeated the same singing thing, and then at the end, mm -hmm. um, when I think the second time is when you realize that oh, I'm on this, this guy, first yeah. person is actually Burner Boy. I think he put his heart into it yeah. and gave us some singing and you know mm. but um, <laughs> I, I appreciate it i mean he's he's brenner boy for a reason i mean he's still be, he's the only person that can get away with dissing the whole world everybody's fave and he's still on top because he's really really talented he's good at and someone they wanted to cancel that he's good in at south africa mm. Mm? they said he's very good at sampling Mm. Just to just say this talking. That's what they said now. Like yeah, those basically, just, that's this why I said those are just people's songs. Mm. But someone really, that almost really got well. cancelled in South Africa to come back and sing on a South African song in Zulu. That's really impressive. Mm. Like I felt that was that was really dope and that was a great comeback because there's no way every South African won't jam to that song because mm. they already love that song. Yeah, I mean that's a very 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 interesting conversation that you have just brought up now because. It could actually be very sp um, strategic that Burner Boy's people found that to be something that he needed to do in regards to that. But I hope that it works because I know with, with South Africans, they can like your music and separate you from your music very easily. And I think that's what every normal human being should be able to do. Like ah, there, it's, it's th tough, there right? is a talent and there is a person. Yeah, but so right now, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, he's good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I still love, I mean, I love this song. I love some of the songs he's given us in the past. I'm not a fan of Udugu. But he's given us really mm. amazing jams, right? You, you too. It doesn't, it doesn't, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Udugu. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't take away the fact that he... doesn't that give me that Boy vibe. Mm. Udugu. It's too slow for me. Ah, oh. That beat was heavy, fam. Okay, but me, I'm just saying mm -hmm. that I know beat, he's talented, though. but it doesn't take away the fact that he can be really annoying. I think he just needs to do what he's doing now. Keep bringing really good music and just shut up and we would love you for it. And I don't know if you guys have heard that he's going to take a break from music for three years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baba's been taking breaks from a lot of things mm -hmm. and as soon as he says it he takes a break from saying what he just said and continues to say <laughs> <laughs> please okay um up there for discussion is shay shay she says um it is tacky to show off wealth on social media please hear from the horse's mouth horse indeed okay, you know you're doing well you're doing well and you know you probably have loads of money but we can't see it we want to see it but my answer is don't be so shallow, you know? I'm not a preferity type person. I'm not a loud, proud type person, you know? I live well, I live good. I mean, <laughs> shit. Stack. I'm a businesswoman. But 
but I'm just not loud about all these things. I think it's tacky. I'm clear. But she's interested in doing like this I think that, to show up her beauty, that, I, I, like because there's yeah. there's a beauty she thinks she mm -hmm. has that she's Does she think she didn't have any clothes on? Mm -hmm. With that attitude, like she felt it was one of her nude <laughs> pictures going viral. <laughs> Where are you coming from, Ife? I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but for someone who wants to tell us that she's not vain and she doesn't show up and she doesn't care, like Straight she had too much attitude and trying mm -hmm. to show off her face. No, she was just trying to show you the classy side of her. I'm classy. And that's the, it's that's the definition of classy. Uh, well, and, I, okay, I don't know. So Maybe I should be asking let's, the ladies. Let's go into what she's saying. Now mm. she's saying that showing off your wealth on social media is tacky. Let me see. Do we have plenty of tacky people in this world? Yes, now. Yeah. No, you but it's actually tacky. tacky no, I agree that they have a lot of tacky people in this world. It is unnecessary <laughs> to show your wealth, but you can do whatever you want. Yeah. It really depends. I Sometimes, eh? Mm. Personally, I just don't. Want to show it. I, I just want to show it for motivation. It can, I, it's it not just be motivation. It, I have motivation. It. I just got. I just it. want to do that, like because for me, I if don't, I buy a Bentley tomorrow, of course I'll show it off. I probably won't show it. It's not even. Um, um, you see, that's not the, your car. That's the thing. Hey, Bentley. Bentley. Yeah, I probably won't show it. Off. <laughs> 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 um, in, in terms of showing off, for someone like me now, I don't really. I'll be very exhausted if I was around people who valued materialism to a point where, like, oh yeah, we're about to eat a bitch. Oh yeah, I bought a phone. Oh, and I've not bought an expensive earring. And I want to show off. The, yeah, that would drain me. Um, I don't really do that. I have moments where I just want to be really cheap and then when I want to spend, I will really spend and I will show it if I want to show it. And I think I do that for everything as well. Sometimes I want to be modest and if I want to show my breast and bum bum and take a picture with like nothing, okay. I will do it. So for me, um, it I, I would give that same response to her that at the end of the day, I'm in charge of my life. Mm -hmm. And as long as I'm not looking for validation from other people, because let's be real, you can get to a point where um, social media sucks you. And then once I know that I'm getting feedback for certain things, I'm almost tempted to want to always give them that mm. thing. And then I think that's why it stops being about me and starts being about seeking validation from other people. But if I'm having a good time and I really want to just flex whatever it is, I will. And there's nothing you can <laughs> do. Um, <laughs> so I also wanted to ask, sending semi-nude pictures to your friends mm -hmm. is that Isn't tacky? tacky right i don't think so okay it's classy personally for me i don't think it's, it's classy it depends though if something is not classy does that mean it's tacky <laughs> This is shady shit that wants all these questions. Uh, <laughs> i don't know so i don't know okay like, so tacky for is me a taste, isn't it like so for me life is all about choices and it's all about what you call whatever works for you so if you're not showing off your wealth is what you should call being classy all well and good it's your choice if it's called tacky for you all well and good it's your choice so i can't fault her on this one because it's our personal opinion it's mm. our personal choice it's and right. i think yeah, it's a thing so. of taste it's like okay just like the relationship thing now if you're if you're in a relationship some people will say if you're posting showing it off. you are shallow you are not securing yourself. Some people say, if you're not posting it, then you are shallow. <laughs> you're not securing yourself. So it's, it's like a preference thing and also the intention behind it. And I think that the people are so different with different personalities and things that they care about, things that they don't care about, that for some people, showing their lives in, in an intimate way, because I think even wealth is kind of intimate. Mm -hmm. It's not always, you can't always um, define the intention behind it. So it's yeah. going to be very hard to criticize. So I'm guessing she's, she also has to take something from this conversation to understand that she cannot generally call people shallow yeah. because they see things differently mm. um, than you do because yeah. you think it's tacky. For some, it's classy. For some, they're just having fun. And like you said, you don't know the intention behind um, the reason I'm showing off my. Bentley, like mm. he first said, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. It's a very hustle, and I get, and I'm able to bag a Bentley. I think I'm gonna. I'm, I'm my biggest fan, so I was. <laughs> With a very long day. motivational speech, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't know, know nothing. You don't, you don't even know, know about do you know, it. Do you know how long it took <laughs> yeah. me? Well, I mean, the things if I, I if sat I'm going on, to balance, my, if I'm going to balance, if I'm going to balance, you know, if I'm yeah, to, <laughs> little me. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to balance the conversation, sometimes people post things in a very toxic way. The one that I've seen firsthand is when you are strategic about your wealth just so that you can post it. So some people wouldn't go and buy just a regular dress or they'll go and buy something 
not because they actually need it or like it, or but they know person. that if I post it on social media, then it looks nice. Mm. I think that for me is a bit tacky, and I don't know what your percep perception is going to be to convince me that it's not, if that makes sense. Um, so that's not that, to be fair. You can have times where people start Too much to do of that. Is bad. And then for men, I've noticed that the men on social media that are very like, oh my gosh, money, this and this and that. Every time I've met them in person, and I think mm -hmm. I've met a lot of them, Sha. Every time I've met them in person, so is I that see... your second hustle? How have, have you met a lot of them? I, I just happen to have met them. Um, I, what I've noticed is that... Little you. <laughs> what I've noticed is that um, it's a, lot, a lot of the times that's overcompensating for a lot of void that they have. They're mm. very insecure. They're very childish. The ego is bigger than the height. So they than hope those things would attract Compensate, people. you yeah. know, cushion okay. the kidney. And, and yeah. that's, you're very correct about that. Mm. Listen to me. <laughs> no, not late. It's mm. time for a quick break, but when we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Satility Time on Plus TV Africa. Whatever you people do, don't date stupid people. Talk less of marrying stupid people. You shouldn't be spending your life with someone that can easily be manipulated or easily swayed by opinions from outsiders. It will cause you problem for your life. And that's coming from Bibi Ninja, Leo Da Silva. So it's basically saying don't date stupid people. Mm. I think it's basically saying don't date people that listen to others for them to make decisions that would affect their life. It's not about the um, surface things because I know I ask people for a lot of I surface things. Yeah. Surface things, what do you mean? Yeah, like if I if I feel like oh, I don't feel too comfortable in the shirt, but like do you think the shirt is nice? Do you mm. think I should so change? So you can't you ask think people for deep things. It has to be shallow things. No, you can also ask people, but when it affects your life, you know personally that this decision, okay, I need to invest in real estate mm. and you 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 have your blueprint. Then somebody comes and like, no, it's no blueprint. No, it's now um, mm. farming that now goes through and then you change your old plan mm. just because Mr. A is doing farming, mm. Mr. B is into farming mm. and you already had this thing, you've saved up money for like five long years mm. just for you to go into real estate and then because you see like three people that are doing farming and it works for them, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Yeah. I think that is where the problem lies but over the surface when I ask for validation for very basic things like mm. do you think the shoe is cool? Do you mm. think I should wear this one or wear that one? Do you think? It's very... Just, it, yeah, it, because it, it, I've seen a lot of people that have made very superficial decisions and you would actually tell them that, no, that doesn't look good. Do you mm. understand? And then they'll be like, well, I feel good in it, I'll do it. And then mm. you actually look stupid when you make those decisions. So sometimes it's actually important to ask other people for certain things, it's but not super, everything. Th this conversation is very tricky. It can very. go very it, tricky. too tricky. It's not even that black and white. I know that with a lot of success stories that I, for, from people that I respect and admire, a lot of those stories have to do with this conversation where they decided to just stay the course of um, either an, something that they wanted to go with their gut or they actually did the opposite mm. where they um, decided to listen and let go of this idea in their head and then it worked for them and this and this and that. Sure. Very tricky. So it's very tricky. From I'm going to speak personally. I think I struggle with this a lot because um, I like to have contentment. One of my most happiest is when I'm really content. It's not when mm. actually anything specifically grand is happening. Mm. When I'm just like really normal. And for me to have that um, phase is when I, I'm very comfortable in my decision. And because I know that I struggle very hard to decide because I have to make sure that this is the perfect decision that I know I wouldn't change my mind in three days or I wouldn't regret it in four. So it takes me a long time and even to date to decide to do things 
I, I will talk to everybody and I'll talk to everybody over again for 10 times and I will get all the information together. I want a lot of opinions mm. personally for me because I think I can really be in... Um, it helps you to make your things. own decisions. Yes. I, I, sometimes I don't see things in my hindsight properly. I don't think I'm very good at like, you know, like figuring out, Spoken oh, who is this and in, in, this in intention and this intention or whatever. Um, Are you so, going to ignore that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> So I think I like the fact that I can get a broad um, pull of advice and mm -hmm. then after that I decide. The decision I is yours at the end I, of the I day. Decide. But at the same time, I hear you too, but I think we should bring it down to the contest Leo is talking about. Because, you know, there, there were tweets that followed this um, initial one we took and he was basically giving an example mm -hmm. of your... Um, you're in a relationship with someone and the person doesn't even have a mind of their own. So they see this I is the uh, way this person treated somebody in a movie. It affects the way they treat you in a movie. Mm -hmm. It's the not part, about the you. The part that killed me was when he said, yeah, your, your, the love of your life is being influenced by a movie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that, that part killed me. You know, so um, there, there are people that I, I think are not even matured enough to make personal decisions for, for themselves. But at the end of the day, these people actually get people that are ready to love them mm -hmm. the, the way the Bible has prescribed, which mm -hmm. is forgive all wrongs. Be mm -hmm. there to help. They will make stupid mistakes that you will say, okay, I can't be with this kind of person. But if you've got someone who is ready to love them regardless of their flaws and mm -hmm. these things and talk them through these decisions to make them understand why making that kind of decision was wrong in the first place. Mm -hmm. So it's really tricky. You can't say this is going to be black and white or it's going to be affect someone. Or I think if you, can't, if, you, if you can't make a decision on your own or if you're easily swindled by everybody's opinion, I think the problem lies in the fact that you just don't really know who you or, are. Or like your because your boyfriend, but, somebody's boyfriend gets them a, let's use if it's Bentley hmm. for birthday gift. And you say, your boyfriend too. That's not what I'm saying. I don't think you know Bentley who you are. Because the, the truth of the matter is that there's so many options and varieties in the world. So like, which one do you like? There's some things that people would do that's nice. And I just don't fancy it. Like, good for you, but I'm not interested but, in having But like that. you said, let's come so maybe back to sometimes the context, just right? Um... In a relationship as well, I believe um, a relationship is between two people, right? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be a public opinion thing. Like, if I'm having issues with my girlfriend, I don't expect her to go to Miss mm. A, Miss B, Miss C, mm -hmm. Miss D, Miss... It's not like she's supposed to go to the whole world, but there are people that are yeah, close yeah, to can, her. Yeah, maybe one. I'm not even a big two. fan of relationships that are close. I don't like it. I think that's where expectation happens. So I don't... That com that conversation is going a bit left because once it is, I start to keep quiet and I feel very... So you mm, talk to everybody fine. about I it? Have my confidence. It doesn't my have confidence. to be everybody. There are people you're comfortable yeah. sharing your stories with. It's not even people. It's only like maybe one or two, family yeah. and a yeah, friend. But two. still, I will Mona. say it though. As soon, <laughs> yeah. as, as soon as I say, um, what's it called? As soon as I hear you have said something, to, I'm going to go and say it because I want to be able to hear that, oh, this is toxic and this is not normal. <laughs> or for you, for you to say, actually, this happens a lot of the times. And that's how I've been able to get my, my radar on, on relationships with other people. All right. All well and good. Okay, talking about relationships, when the Williams ex-husband blames his cheating behavior on her massive workload and alcohol abuse, yeah, so he she's basically he's basically saying that she was the reason for the cheating. Mm -hmm. Very lame excuse. I think every man should um, accept and own it when you actually cheat. It's not supposed to be all about the woman because I'm sure. He met Wendy Williams when she was doing the Wendy show. Mm -hmm. So they she you knew had, about her workload. Yeah, you knew about her workload. You knew about her alcohol alcohol abuse. You knew about her drug use, but you still went ahead to tie the knot. So why are you making an ex? Why are you using that as an excuse I'm, for I'm your misbehavior? I'm pretty sure that when they were dating, she was making time for him, and when they were dating, that she was yeah, not was going to work. At, she was not doing the job <coughs> as much, and she has promised heaven and earth. And when they were dating, yeah, so like what men do, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think that it's it, it might be a bit unfair to say you knew all this. But I don't think there is a reason for you to cheat on someone for 20 years and still stay there until the matter became worse and she mm. said, I'm leaving, right? Because you knew you were not happy in that relationship, which is why you said you, had, you were cheating. Mm. So I, first I year, second year, lame. third mm. year, really, I think it's lame because there is no excuse. If you have decided to cheat, fine, there could be things that triggered you to say, okay, I want to cheat, but you need to own that your cheating habit. Yeah, that's it, that's you're oh, not I trying have... to push the blame on someone who never cheated on you mm -hmm. for the whole 20 years. So is it that... We don't know. Her... 
She's not coming out to say. <laughs> oh, he no no no. If he can come out to say that he cheated on her because of this this this, don't you think this same person will come out to tell us that? She, and then she for someone who is not in a good place right now, should you even be saying all this stuff? Because this this type of things can throw her into deep depression, and I don't think. I think Wendy is stronger than that, and she's really. Yeah. We thought she was stronger than that until they broke up and she went back to a rehab. Is that not strength? I don't know. Maybe strength is different. Yeah. <laughs> to mm -hmm. come out of something, if to me is strength. Anyway, I, I, it, it. I understand what you're, you're saying, and I agree that to a, to an extent that he's being a coward about it. But I read somewhere where it said that sometimes the person who's who's cheating, especially if they're not um, serial cheaters, like it's not in their character. Sometimes they're also victims, and then that's the way they respond to. Like you know, a deprivation or something that I'm crying mm. about. That's just like possibility. Just like how so. kids get into dramatics when they are crying for help. Mm. Sometimes couples do that. So I've read that somewhere before, um, and it kind of made me have a little, it's just a tiny little bit of sympathy, especially if it's out of character for the person. Um, so this is one is not out of character. That's what I'm saying. Years. So for, 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 years yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I wanted but he to said bring the that active one in, in, in his defense. He said he only got into an active relationship when the lady got pregnant with the lady that got pregnant. Sorry. Cheating and shitting, sha. But all the best. So that's the only time it was active, but the other one was, <laughs> was just. Uh... You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and do join the conversation by sending your opinions via WhatsApp to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember to catch up on this episode and all exclusive content by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ife Oma and if you Lua okay. Yes, that's me. Thank you. <laughs> and the entire production team, including Sheyi, our director. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. <laughs> My she? name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. <laughs>